and then we danced. It's an interesting film. On one hand, it's quite a simple storyline. There's this guy and he's a dancer and he wants to audition for this like big deal, like this dance company or uh, the national dance team or something. And it's quite a simple story. And then on the other hand, if you understand the background of Georgia where it's set and the attitudes towards gay people there, then it, the story takes on a whole new complicated uh, twist because it is basically about this guy living in a society where it is really not okay to be gay. Even though it's legal there, um, the attitudes are just like, you can't be gay and you get beaten up if you are basically. Um, so he's exploring these feelings he's having for another dancer that comes along and it's kind of obvious quite early on when they meet that there's some kind of sexual tension there. If you didn't know what the film was about, then you would probably pick it up quite early, but they don't rush into anything. I suppose they can't just have it in your face because at the time the film was quite a big deal in Georgia when it came out. Apparently, I was reading that the uh, cast making it actually had to have bodyguards because they had death threats against them. So that's the kind of deal it is there. And um, so I felt on one hand that the story progressed quite slowly and it could have been a bit quicker. But on the other hand, I understand that they're taking their time because I suppose if you live in that environment, in that situation, you would take your time um, to explore your feelings and your desires. Um, overall, it's a fairly good film. It's a fairly happy film. Um, and there are some sad moments in the middle and where, he, um, every, where everything at first seems to be going really great for, for the guy. What's his name? I should probably... What, uh. So the main guy is called Merib and he's, he's the, basically the person we're following. It's basically just jumping into like a chapter in his life. I remember when I was at school, I was told that a story should have a beginning, a middle and an end. And I believe that for many years. And now I'm just like, well, if you're just jumping into somebody's life at a certain point and just experiencing what they're going through at a certain point, it doesn't have to have a beginning, a middle and an end. It's literally just jumping in at his point in his life. He's dancing, he's rehearsing. This other guy comes along. They have feelings. He gets really strong feelings for him. and But he's in a place where these feelings are not allowed. It's not natural there. They make references several times to this other dancer who has been uh, kicked out of um, the dancing group that he's in um, because he's gay. And so he's struggling with his feelings and his emotions. And when he kind of finds himself, he's really happy. But then there's consequences to that. And then he's sad and... So, yeah, it is quite complicated on that level. This film probably wouldn't have made as much sense in a, a Western country where attitudes are different, uh, where people are more accepting of gay people. He wouldn't possibly have struggled the way he did. I'm not saying it's not a struggle at all, but given the situation that he's in and the place that he lives, that's uh, really what they're aiming for to show you. I feel the film didn't necessarily have to be two hours. It's like a two hour film. And it didn't need to be that long. Um, I did struggle to watch it at points. I think that might be because I've been sitting on this sofa quite a lot lately watching film after film after film. And I was just like, I need to get out of here. I can't sit here watching another film. It's about halfway through. I did turn it off and go out and do some other things that isn't necessarily a criticism of the film but at the same time if the film was really holding my attention I would have sat here for the whole two hours uh, non-stop without having to get up and do something else needing a break so you could partly put it down to the fact that I've watched a lot of films but it also it, it did go a little bit slow for me in some places and I felt it could have been condensed down a bit more to get the message across. Overall, it's an enjoyable film. It's a good film. It's well acted. It's well cast. I think they did a really good job with that. And the message they're trying to get across is basically that um, it, it's okay to be gay. If that's the way you are, then that's cool. Um, obviously, in Georgia, then uh, 
they have different attitudes over there which is precisely why the film was made and set in that location. It is all in Georgian uh, so you will need subtitles unless you understand the language. I have noticed I seem to be watching a lot of films lately uh, where they're not speaking English. Uh, it's, it's just the way it is. Um, I've got a whole selection of films and uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> none of them seem to be in English. I'm not quite sure how that happened. Um, I'm not sure what language the next film I'm going to watch is in. Okay, yeah, so the next film I'm going to watch is in French. So an another foreign film. I, I seem to be playing through the foreign films this month. Um, that is um, just the way it's worked out, um, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I, I recommend And Then We Dance. It is a good film. Um, it's uh, worth a watch. So I keep cutting, I'm trying to do this film review and there's a fly that keeps buzzing around and it's annoying me and I keep losing my train of thought. Um, so I'm just gonna wrap this video up and say it's a, it's worth a watch, it's a good film, it's well acted, it's, it's an interesting story um, and you get to see a lot of dancing if that's your thing. Um, so yeah, I will see you next time for the next film review. All right, bye.